Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have successfully added the card details into converted into the order details, right? So now it's time for us to show the order details. So this is our navigation. Let's go to the navigation. Navigation in this navigation, let's create another one orders. This one is nothing but orders. Okay, so this is our thing. Let's go to the home.js. And here, if we want to see the orders, so this is nothing but get orders page. So here I will go into the order controller, and here I will write exports dot get orders page <coughs> is equal to request comma response. And now we need to design the orders page. So let's go into this view file, and here in this view, I will create a new EJS view file order details page dot ejs not exjs ejs it is ejs and here i will try to copy all the things which are available in the product list the template and everything i am copying and here from main to main i will delete this entire thing and here i will be having a main this one i will be having container sorry dot row and dot call md control so now here i need to show order details so i need to show the order details in order to show these order details we need to get the order details <clears throat> how can we get so as usual request dot get orders so we can get the orders and we need to include and we need to sorry we need to include the product so whatever the products are there in that order we need to include it so when we get these orders when we get these orders now what i can do i can create a views data is equal to orders so i got the orders and page title that is nothing but order details that's it so i think this is more than enough i think i can use rest dot render order details page so this is order details page and i am sending the views data so that's it so we have designed this get orders page and order details page now i need to look for this get order orders i go here and here i can write something like so let's loop over one by one for let order of orders you can also use orders dot for each like that also you can use it not a problem and here i am also using this one so here i need to show sorry not this one right order dot id so i am showing the order id order id and uh, and afterwards i can have ul and in this one i can have li now in this li we will do for again but let product of order order dot order dot what i can say so each uh, each one you are getting it right order dot products we can have order dot products so here i can show you how it will be so here i can add thing like this now here what i can do but not this one right so i am getting confused with the angular so here i can add product dot title and the quantity we have booked is product dot order item so in the order item we need to get order item dot quantity so we can get like this quantity so like this so let's try to so now we are getting so each product we are trying to do from the order dot products and we are getting these all things so let's try to see whether we are able to get the output or not if i to the cart what happened this cart is not there or what is there anything going on 
get orders page is not defined in the order controller or otherwise i think in the home page the home.js in the home.js where we have mentioned the root let's do this get orders page i think this has to work fine now so i am refreshing this page still it is starting node sometimes node is also starting of this node man also sometimes it will be very slow in my thing so what will happen what is he doing yeah it has started now if i go into this one and if i do here fresh yeah we are able to get it and if i click on the orders now we are getting slash orders page not found what would be the issue here oh sorry it should be get request right mm. and here if i try to refresh this page yes order details we are able to see the order details i don't know why we are not able to show this order items what could be the problem in the order details page so we are having each orders okay order id order id these all things we have added so i think maybe in the database it is not there or what select rows oh we are not having anything so we are not having anything so if we go into this one the app.js let's go into the app.js where is this app.js yeah in this app.js so we are having do we having a force tool nothing is there fine so let's close these all the things so go to the home we don't have any products so let's add the product so i think we will not have a category also oh shit so we are not having categories also so let's add a cat category okay we have added the category and i am adding some product random product and here i will take the category so we have added a product let's add another product also So now we had it so add to cart we went into the cart and here add to cart we went into the cart so now when i click on this order now it needs to move to the orders page so this should be actually orders orders page now here see the order id is one and the products order is two items so now if i go to the cart item so this product should not exist once it is converted into the orders means this cart right now should be empty so what i can do here let's go to the cart controller <coughs> postcard page so whenever we are adding this postcard page not postcard page delete cart item order controller order controller so whenever we are posting this order so whenever we are creating an order and here we have added all the products into this one so here what i can do is return so we don't have any cart okay so i can add here pitched cart and we got the card details here so fetch to cart i need to use this card right inside that one so is equal to cart and here i can use fetch to cart dot remove products so inside this one i am trying to remove the products and after removing the products dot then so then i can use rest dot redirect and all the things if anything errors occurs I can console dot log out error. That's it. <clears throat> Let's see. This should be related to the orders, not order. Okay. So now I am refreshing this page. Okay. I clicked on the order. It has moved again to this one. And if I click on the, oh, so this one is still is there. So what will be the issue? Remove products. Featured part dot remove products. So we did not remove the products. So we need to check in the sequelize. Sequelize and the associations and here it should be something like many to many associations belongs to many and here we are having remove bars so we got instance and we got the remove bars so what is the thing i have added here remove products fine right which card dot remove products is it not deleting or what Or otherwise we can use another one also something like set bars so this one also we can use it set bars try to see set, set products and i can set it as null so that means it will delete all the items so this is also one of the concept which we can use it let's try to see so i am having a cart i clicked on the order i went into the orders if i click on the cart here 
see now the card page eventually is empty now we are having an order now button okay that's a different thing so we can have in that condition we can move over that order now button into that condition so now if i go into this one add to cart we got one cart and if i click on order now and this one is again added into the order so this is how we are successfully able to show the order details so we are able to add the order details successfully so now we have designed a full-fledged something like a basic e-commerce application that nothing but having a categories creating a product showing the products and add to cart products and and also editing a product and all those things and also when we click on the order now all those categories uh, all those uh, all those cart items are moved to the order also order details also is completed this is a complete basic e-commerce application which we have did using the sqlize mysql database now in the from in the next session onwards we'll try to learn how we can connect to the mongodb that is nothing but nosql database and how we can do the queries and all those things let's try to see it in the next session hope you understood about this one so these are all the things you should practice it so practice only will make it perfect if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you